At Nano One, we are changing how the world makes battery materials. And today, we are going to explain how lithium ion battery cathode materials can be made directly from metal powders to reduce cost, waste, and carbon footprint. We call it metal to cathode, or M to CAM, and we believe it can transform the lithium ion battery supply chain. Nano One is a publicly listed company on the TSX Venture Exchange, and we caution viewers of this presentation from using the information for investment purposes. Lithium ion cathode materials enable rechargeable batteries and are the most costly and complex component in the cell. Each grain of powder is crystalline and formed from lithium and other metals such as nickel and cobalt. The supply chain to make the cathode materials is long and complex with mining, refining, conversion, and eventually cathode manufacturing. So let's take a deeper dive. Miners make their money here, extracting ores from the ground and refining them into useful metals. These metals are converted into sulfate powders using a crystallization process where boiling sulfuric acid is circulated until the metal sulfate powders are formed. It uses lots of water and energy, there's a carbon footprint, and it introduces an added cost of about $4,000 per ton. Metal sulfates are five times heavier than the original metal, with six molecules of water for every molecule of metal sulfate. That's five times the containers, logistics, and cost, plus the added carbon footprint and water usage. All the metal sulfates are combined in an intermediate process to make a composite powder such as nickel, manganese, and cobalt, referred to as PCAM, or Precursor Cathode Active Material. The byproduct of this chemical reaction is a waste stream of water and sulfate that is five times the size of the product stream to be recycled, cleaned up, or even landfilled. Meanwhile, lithium carbonate is converted to hydroxide powder, which adds more cost and energy before it can be ground and milled with NMC precursor powder. These mixed powders look like a mixture of salt and pepper before they are heated in a furnace or kiln where the lithium powders diffuse very slowly into the metal powders, often melting to form a brick that must be ground up and fired again to get to a free-flowing powder. It can take days to form the desired cathode powders, and only then can the protective coatings be added and cooked on to the finished powders. As you can see, it is a long and complicated process. We do it differently at Nano One. We've adapted our patented one pot process to make cathode materials directly from metal powders. This eliminates complexity, waste, cost, and a serious carbon footprint. We mix the metals in our one pot process along with powders of lithium carbonate and the coating materials, where our carbon neutral chemistry converts it all into a homogeneously mixed composite powder that fires easily and quickly in the kiln. And it's there that coatings are formed simultaneously with the single crystal cathode powders, eliminating extra steps for improved durability in lithium ion batteries. This eliminates the need to convert metals to sulfates and lithium to hydroxide. It eliminates waste and the needless transport of water and sulfate. That's five times less weight being shipped around the world by land and sea. There are lower logistics and lower costs. The carbon footprint goes down, as does the required energy. And for miners of metals and lithium, this translates into increased value for their products because there is no need for downstream conversion. For cathode production, input costs go down, there are fewer steps, and there are increased margins. The waste stream is eliminated with 1 20th of the water and cathode powders are formed in the kiln in hours instead of days. The total carbon footprint is a fraction 
of the conventional process, and the cost savings are measured in many thousands of dollars per tonne. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and you can see that Nano One is changing how the world makes battery materials. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Have a great day.